This European Cricket Network event is proudly brought to you by HCL Software and Paramatch. So there, Buyan is going to be opening up with the captain, Dylan Staines. Buyan is in good form, so it makes sense. And gets a little teaser out in the off and Oh, no, misfield. That's a clanger. That's a real clanger from the fielder. You've got to do better than that. He's scoring plenty of his own bat. Well, try again. <laughs> oh, no. This time there's nothing. Well, he has a second chance to <laughs> redeem himself. But unfortunately, Muazali doesn't. And I get the feeling that he might be changed from this position. This time, it's worse than the first. Oh, that's not good. And look at the captain. Smashed. And oh, fingertips. Fingertips. That would have been a great catch. Now, he could have done himself some damage. I think that's Galanis. It looks like him. I'm confirmed with you at the moment. But that was absolutely smashed. It is Galanis. Uh, Bouillon likes it there as well. That's a big six. That's an almighty shot. And that goes straight into the zone behind us. A, we sort of call it the fan zone if you want. Some of the players are there. And some of the spectators. That's a big hit. One bounce. Comes back pretty quickly because it gets fueled. There you go. Look. One hand pick up. And this will go the other side. And I don't know if uh, Arvind is there yet. He's somewhere. Spot the red umbrella and you'll find where Arvind is. But we're going to need somebody else to get this one. As that one gets muscled big time over to the onside. Not too quick at all. Had some variations. He's over two. And it's going to start with a wicket. Stain fails again. This time he tries to drive on the up. Doesn't quite get the contact. Amapri takes the catch. At mid-off, and the Czech team lose their skipper early again. It's 23 for one. I'll be happy to have the wicket. And straight away, he's going to get horned away. Well, Yogesh says no thank you, fake Yogesh. He's, he basically backs away from that. Didn't want a piece of it, but that's maximal. Six runs to check here. Likes round the wicket, does Azra. But this could be six and out time. Should be caught. Fielding's been an issue so far, but not this time. So it's going to be six and out after all. Sajid so Afridi with the catch. And just like that, Hazra's got two. It's 29 for two. Yeah, look, this one is away from the body. I think one hand comes off the bat, loses his control, loses his shape. And as a result of that, Pandrasi, yeah, loses his wicket. This time it's a slow ball. Holds up. That's out as well. Three in the over. Well, he might have risked permanent retina damage there, Thomas Zotas, but he has taken the catch. A triple wicket over. Well, watch that. How's he seen it? No one's quite sure, including Thomas, but it's 30 for three. And they've got the field set for it. Uh, I suppose he set the field for a bad ball, but it's worked. And uh, Thomas Zotas takes the catch, and it's going to be a... Oh, that's sliced away. It's going to get away from the field. It's going to be four. Well, that's Vortex territory. This time muscles it to the right of the field. It just can't quite get there. That will run away into the boundary. But Hussain living dangerously. End of the power play. 39 for three. Dwan has had it as well. As that's the Grizzlies time to get smashed out of here. That's uh, big and strong. And that will go the distance. Yeah, really good shot. Well, maybe in the air. Gone! And he does get Buyan. It's four play for Azra. And he's removed the top four of Czechia. Unbelievable. Another six and out. 45 for four. With a very good batter in Sagor Hussain. In the air. Gone! That's five for Azra Ahmed. Davidzi goes for a duck and checks in all sorts here in match two. 45 for five. All five of them taken by the same bowler. Rico, let me tell you this. If he takes two more wickets of his two last balls, he'll have a seven foe. That'll be a first. Oh, this is just great. Absolutely brilliant. They bring the 50 up. And that's elevated. That's big. It's a little bit too short from Galanis, and he rocks back and he hammers this over that uh, square leg boundary. Just kind of summed up the length very quickly, didn't it? 
And this is in the air. Is it going to go? It does. Maximo. Back to back. Hussain fighting back. This is really going to test the depth of the Jacks so far. They're passing the test up into the 60s. And he plays onto his own stump, so the tool will go. And that's major disappointment. That's a big wicket coming at the right time. Shadab gets a breakthrough. There's almost a smile on the face there of Marvin Hagler. It's another one bites to dust. Now I think you start to worry if you check it. He likes to attack, gets the back of the hand slow ball here, but he picks it and he puts it away. It's really smart batting. He puts that one into the long grass. Cuatro carreras. And gone. And that is a boogie oogie woogie grizzly five ball. Hussein will go. Well, that's a knockout blow. And I think, uh, well, Marvin will be happy with that. And, uh, well, he'll be singing, won't he? As uh, this is not Marvin Hagler, maybe Marvin Gaye is sw singing to joy as he sees the stumps get knocked down. <laughs> That's a good one. So anyway, yeah. last ball of the over. It's and gone. Well, can you believe it? Shadow breaks through. He's on a hat trick. David Ahmed with a golden duck and checks collapsing and folding. The house of cards coming crashing down. 72 for eight after six. Well, I tell you what, it's uh, the marvellous Marvin goes across and takes a sensational catch. Well, he's got the gloves on as Marvin and he's doing the business. What a good catch this is. Just takes one ball. Freedy, he just takes he's itchy one to ball. hit. He does. Slices away. It gets plenty of it. And that's what the man can do. Maximo. Even though this looks like a very ugly score, and I'm telling you that you're a couple of overs away from it being kind of 115 for eight, and Riaz makes his intentions very clear. Yeah, it gets plenty of this, doesn't it? It flies over the boundary. Well, here we go, Hattrick ball. It's up in the air, but he's going to go to the boundary. That's going to be six runs. So no Hattrick still. That still eludes us. Last ball, the over chopped away. I'll actually test the fielder down there and he's not going to get there again. He likes to go the old the two foot slide. That's Super Marios flying through. Well, that could be four. four runs. Yeah, it's a bottom edge. I thought for a second it might have beaten the bat, in which case it was plum LBW. Anyway, Galanis gets swept away. It's right off the middle of the bat. It's six runs Maximo. It's actually not a bad idea when you think about it, because if he does get it, it's going to go a long way, because it's kind of spinning onto the middle of the bat. So once again, it'll be the battle of the two Afridis. A very good slow ball. First one isn't the slow ball, and it's skewed away. That's going to be four. In the air, Bowler should take an easy catch and will. So Afridi versus Afridi, and it's Ajit that gets the last laugh. Four and out in the tenth, but a nice contribution from Riaz. He'll fall for 25, batting number 10. It's 114 for nine. Last ball coming up, Chagi. Gets a shortish one again. You might as well go to here. Chagi's running out of gas. I'm telling you right now. you got to oh, run there. What? Now, they, now will. they will go. And I don't know if he'll get away with it or not. I think he might be out. He ends up all over the stuff. <laughs> he He's completely gassed. He ends up knocking over his own wickets on the second <laughs> run. You're Guess completely how many? Gone. Guess how many? 121? 121? Yeah, well, maybe. Exactly. 121.99. <laughs>they've got to score 122 to be victorious here. And now they will feel that they've got every opportunity to get there. But they've got to deal with this guy. Yes, Afridi with the first. And ask you the question. Maybe impact just outside the line. But where's the ball going? It goes. Gets chased down. And oh, that was pretty full as well. That's going to be four runs. So he's just going to get this ball to pitch. And then this one is pretty pretty high as well. It reminds you a bit of uh, Prince Diman. Uh, the way that he looks and the way that he plays. That one, though, has been crushed away. as a delightful hit from Saji Defridi. This is cut away. No ball called. And that's going to travel. As Afridi is going to cut this one over. It's a seven up. That's shot. Really good shot. Picked up by Afridi. He's got natural power. 
Very good wrist work again to snap them through the ball. Maximo and Greece have started really well in pursuit of this target. That's a great shot, great bit of timing. It was like a laser beam off the bat of Afridi. Well, four, but really we should say six because that's Maximo time. Six to Greece. He can really swing hard at anything around here. Hits that down the ground and this is going to be four runs as it can't be stopped by Saba. That's a beautifully executed cut shot. Just timing the ball so well right now. Both of these guys really. That's four more to Ashraf. And so he does drag it, but he's found one of the three. It's gone. Excellent catch. Very, very good catch from Suzy Bouyan. Naveed breaks through and breaks the partnership. Greece, 43 for one. Ah, kinna What a good catch this is. There it is. Very clever batting. I'm going to know it's early in his innings, but I just don't think he can get away with leaving that big of a gap when someone's bowling the pace. That's going to be whacked away. It's going to go all the way. Maximo. Some hitting there from Afridi. That's just a fraction too short. Afridi, I think, is kind of guy you want to try and draw him forward and off balance and maybe out of his yeah. crease. Can't let him stand there and hit because he'll hurt you all day. That's a long off. The cover and extra cover because that's where he likes to go. Now he could have found the field of the feet. He doesn't normally put him down and he won't put this one down either. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. That's the areas that he likes to go. This time he goes a little bit straighter. So long off he's able to take the catch. But you could have three more there in the line waiting for that shot. So that's a big wicket to get now. He's played some lovely shots but that one not quite out the middle. Gets caught on the boundary by Davizzi. Czechia nose is in front right now. Vandrasi bowls a low full toss. That's hit into the gap. And that's going to be four. Great effort out there from Rahat, who's on the field for Riaz at the moment. Now he's going to get a bit funkalicious against smart batting. No fine leg. I just need to get anything on it. It is low risk. You said it last over. A place in front of you. Looks to go again. Smart. And, and he's yeah. done it again. Why not do it again? There's still no fielder there. Force the change. And I'm going to see how they go here. Needing 55 in 30. Goes for it. Up in the air. And he's going to get over the fielder. And this will go for four. Goes for it. And gets the distance as well. Straight over Subba's head. Maximal. Fantastic fielding from the Sheriff Charles Croucher. I think Subba was kind of distracted from the shine off the head. Anyway, in the air. This is a thin edge that's going to fly away down the vortex for more. Motoring at the moment. Chopped on. It's going to be shut up. That has to go. Naveed finally reads the room, pitches it up. Little inside edge. He's wondering what's happened. I'm sure this is just chopped straight on. And let's see how it finds its way there. Bang, straight on. Couldn't be more out. <laughs> uh, turns around and probably thinks, really? Is that, is that what's happened? Uh, well, spoiler alert, it has. So it's 4-6-4 four, four, and out. It's 81 for 3. Well, it gets dropped and it bounces off the bowler into the non-striker. Well, everyone has a piece of that one. <laughs> uh, that, this is catch him on the knee. Does he manage to get a hand in the way? That's a slow ball, but he picks and he hits it straight and gets it pretty good. So Chagi goes off script here, I think. I know he's trying, yeah. to, trying to go variation. Oh, he goes reverse Oy! and he absolutely slams it. What a shot. Maximo. And there is your HCL software play of the day. Amaprit goes full mirror image and puts it out of the park. Reverse the mo time. Oh, have a look at this. Sunsea Sand and Sexy Cricket. Shot of the day as well. And uh, now he goes down the ground. Incoming. Watch it with Nico Quillman. <laughs> as it just deviates <laughs> the other way. They go back. To the other opener, and that's been blasted away. That's going to be six runs, I think. It will be Manos. Riva, 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 Vidro, Porgenzo, Seismas. 16 off 12 required. There's reverse. Doesn't really get all of it, but gets enough. He's going to get four. In fact, it's off the leg. It must have been a wooden leg. That really raced away into the vortex. 10 off the last over. Whacked. Yep. And he's finally got one away. That's why for me, Rico, I think you still got to trust Galanis. And he just gets that little bit of width there. And he puts Greece well on top now. Six or five required. Ooh. Take the one. One so much better than a zero now. Four to win. 
goes high. Biggest moment yet. Can anyone reach it? Two come together. Oh, crash. no. And I think they'll only get one in the end. Oh. There's no communication. And that's Rahat, the subfielder, on there. And he's crashed into Chowdhury. No credit to the batters. I think they could have run two there, but they decided not to. That's smart. The sunglasses. Watch the shades come off here. He's hit him so hard. He smashed him. Watch the sunglasses. This is how hard they've hit each other. Oh, oh that was... The catch goes down. He had this, you know. He had it, but they didn't call. That could be a huge moment. So they do run. Go back to the game. Grandstand finish here. Two to tie. Three to win for Greece. Gets it. Got to go for two. They could get two. Has to be clean. He fumbles. They got to go two. Good throw. Has him done. And it's checking the win by a run. The slight fumble, but the recovery. Bouillon grabs the ball and wins the game for Czechia. What a game. The final score will be oh. 121 to 120, but the Czechs go 2-0 up in the series. Oh, what a choke from Greece. What a choke.